Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Two spacewalks around the horizon, and there's a lot of work to be done before anyone heads out the door. NASA astronauts Scott Kelly and Chell Lindgren are gearing up for spacewalks on October 28th and November 6th, and the onboard crew spent much of the week getting the duo's suits and tools together. The first time spacewalkers plan to use the time they've spent getting accustomed to life in microgravity to their advantage. Hopefully our familiarity with living um, and working on the space station will, will help us with uh, working outside uh, the space station. Being very familiar with how your body moves, how to do work, how to find good body positions, all of those things I think translate very nicely to the kind of work that we're going to be doing outside the space station. This week, Chell Lindgren worked in space on InSpace. Well, it's called the InSpace 3 experiment, and it's studying how magnetic colloidal fluids arrange themselves in microgravity. These smart liquids quickly solidify when exposed to magnets and are great at absorbing impacts. They're already found in shock absorbers and race cars, and they're now being tested to help stabilize buildings in areas that get a lot of earthquakes. This week's question is from Ben, who wants to know what the temperature is outside the ISS. Well, first, remember that space is a vacuum, so your thermometer won't work the same way it does here on Earth. The main way to heat or cool things in a vacuum is through radiation, which we get from sources like the sun. The station has special paints and blankets, which keep the outside surface between negative 58 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit, quite a range. But without special protection, materials like metal orbiting Earth can get as hot as 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.